better hang out. You better hang out. Yeah, that's what you're doing. Beautiful time. I mean, the sun is perfect yeah, right now. Yeah. I mean, it's oh, I'm sorry. Perfect. So Navajo Mountain is way yeah. out there. Swinging around, swinging oh, around. The Navajo yeah. Nation. Swing On the around. Navajo Nation, yeah, way out there. normally there. Um, so th this canyon is still being cut, still to this day. It's pushing, you know, once we get a good view of the Virgin River, it's going to be very muddy today.
very muddy. And it's going to be carrying all that sediment downstream, cutting more and more in through the canyon. It places at, at this canyon that's over a half a mile deep. Okay, let's see. Uh, lots of sheep down Shoulder here. Shoulder, see the clouds yeah. hanging on the on the yeah. thing. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, look at look at our guy up here. He's cleaning all the mud off the road. Oh yeah. That's not a fun job. Oh, uh, more clouds to your left. Oh, he's gonna have a busy day cleaning mud off the street, isn't he? Yeah. Yes. So up ahead on the left, you can begin to see an arch up ahead about uh, 10 o'clock in the, in the Navajo sandstone up there. Do you guys see that? Okay, so we're going to see Zion Arch, the really huge one, all right? But let's, uh, let's get a good visual as to what happens. It starts out very, very small, okay? And because of uh, erosion, freeze and thaw, um, then the very top layer then, you see these thin little layers. It If I run.
she's still going. She's dying. Uh, now that I think about it, it's nice to have a windy day because it blows that steam yeah, away from the water column. You can see the water column a lot. Yes. I wonder how hot the water is. Um, it's above boil. Above boil? <clears throat> I wouldn't do it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Gotta remember, we're at pretty considerable attitude. The water boils up here around 180 to 190. She's at Pukolomar. Oh, <laughs> And then you'd have to well, walk yeah, back. Yeah, and then you grab one of the boardwalks because it goes up, over and down, and then you'll come back you'll around this way. You'll miss the bus. You'll miss the bus. No, she won't. But you might miss one. Yeah. Okay, I'm ready to go. Back. You are? Okay. All right. Good job. Your poop is very hard and warm. But in the springtime, all of this grass is nice and green and juicy. So when they poop, it's kind of like a pie. <laughs> Any other questions? <laughs> yes. How do geysers form? Well, that's kind of an interesting thing. Because there's a hot spot, a, a chamber beneath us, what happens is we have ingredients. Hot water, we know because of the mantle underneath. You have the water itself, a special kind of rock, which is this rhyolite. So those are the ingredients, really. And the last thing I just want to say is the preservation. You know, there are some places in the world, and let me end with this. There are some places in the world that have geysers. And what they've done is they've actually used the heat for heating buildings and things like that. And some of those features have gone dormant, like in Iceland and New Zealand. A lot of people will come in and say, well, do you use the heat under the ground to heat the buildings? No, it's a national park. We cannot tamper with any of these geothermal oh. features. That's it, Miss Dahlia, you made it. We made it. You oh, did. I had to bring my okay, kids. I had to bring my kids. I went and I took the kids. I was skating in there with And there was another mom there who had skating in her overcoat and her purse. Oh, and she was skating around. So <laughs> skating around the rink. Altar of sacrifice directly ahead of us. And it kind of looks like that, doesn't it? With all the blood coming down oh, off the body. Let's not get any graphic. All right, there we go. That's a sheer wall. Okay, really? That's a tiny little car. I mean, if you look at some of these boulders over on the left, really, it's really not going to take much for them to... Uh, slide away. Like the one like almost at uh, 10 o'clock, do you see that one hanging over there? I'm like, I mean, no, I'm just, I just find it very interesting. Yeah, not today. Not today.
when it freezes. Look at that. The sun's shining on it. And if you want to see where we're going, just look to the right. All right. We're going to take the long way. We're not going to take the short way. All right. Right off the side then of the road there. Yep. Both sets of bathrooms, and you guys can choose. The outside temperature today. today. All right. Yeah. Yeah. They have overnight accommodations in the lodge. They do have overnight accommodations in the lodge. Yes, they do. We are not staying here. I know. I wish we could. I wonder why. Oh, look! There's already a couple of us.